Hey everybody, this is uh, second day of coding on the Daily Doodle here. Um, Daily Doodle, that's a horrible thing to say. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I've been coding, doing more code stuff. Um, we got this nice menu screen. This is going to be for selecting games. Right now I've only got the regular game, and I've also got the options and credits page, which that flickering is kind of weird. I should probably move that up a little bit. But yeah, I don't know how much of this... It's kind of weird, the way this is coded. Uh, it plays a little buggy right now because it's in a flash debugger and sometimes stuff, some weird wild stuff happens like you should see the pause screen, but um, it works for the most part. I mean, I'm going to spend tomorrow finalizing it before I release the prototype and then hopefully things will be running smooth, but uh, the regular game, I don't know why the score screen comes up in the middle of the screen sometimes. And I've got this nice options menu here. The slider was actually... Okay, I've also... I'm not only... For some reason the mouse is acting up, it's probably the recording software I'm using, but... Uh, I, I've set the sliders to work... different controls, so you can work with the keyboard here. I'll, I'll put a little image graphic thing to tell people which ones you press, but... It's pretty nice, so you don't have... To, I want, to, I want to make it so you can play with the mouse or with the keyboard, because, you know, whatever. And then I think it should stick to this, because if you go to... stays the same volume, alright, alright. You notice I've got music, but I'd like to make these links, and I don't know why my mouse is disappearing. It's probably... probably the recording software, um... But yeah, main menu, pick the game. I don't know why the, so, the the thing is set for the score to be in the upper left corner, but for some reason sometimes it likes to follow the mouse. I think it's just a bugging debugging thing. I think when I actually export the Swift file, it should be fine. So let's try again. Yeah, see, right now it's just an endless line of guys to shoot. And girls, but you'll see the score changing, so if you shoot a good guy, it hurts your score, and if you shoot a bad guy, it helps it. Although, I'm gonna be. Tomorrow, I'm gonna spend the day coming up with variants on the base game, so, like, you know, you fire once and then the. the like, they're going this way, and you fire once and it shoots them back. You go. Do a, a couple different things. I'll try and change it up. I'll, I'll have a timer going for time. Time missions, or maybe some glitch in the bags. I'm gonna put the screen in for the main menu anyway. Let's see what happens. So, I think, for all intents, I also need to change this so that this music doesn't automatically swap to it because, you know, if you just tick to the game, it kicks right off, and I should put like a. Oh, there's the pause screen, I almost forgot this. This thing here was flickering and jumping back and forth, and it should end if I hit. R to reload, the reload scene, so it'll just do that randomly, and then, well not randomly, it'll do that, and then also hit pause, it sticks a bit. If I hit, oh, there we go. <laughs> so, debugging mode is a little iffy, I think it's probably because it's like switching so much and it's logging it, it's probably getting a little jumpy. I, I think I'd much rather actually export it than play with the debugger, but it's faster this way than wait for my browser to load up. But, yeah, I think we're doing good so far. I mean, this isn't too bad. Like, the hard part, the hardest thing, actually, was getting these... Well, these sliders were easy to put together and make them controllable. It was just tedious because I made different regions for each little scoot. And then I also set it so hopefully when the game works, you set the volume and it'll stay that way. I mean, I haven't made it, I haven't, this is my first game that I'm finishing, so, <laughs> you know, be forewarned. But I put it together, I, I like it. So, hopefully I'll have this thing out and done sometime tomorrow. Catch y'all on the other side.